Welcome to Top Trading Edge, folks. Today is Sunday, March 3rd, and let's take a look at this market conditions. See what market look like. All right. So this is the daily chart, folks. As you can see, the 50 SMA, 100 SMA, and 200 SMA they looks nice and bullish. As well as the cloud condition, they are also looking great, amazing, bullish. MACD is also, you know, flying high. Volumes are bulls are in super power control. Completely looks bullish, turning bullish. That's how it looks like. What I notice, folks, here on daily chart, when I today I took a little time to, you know, I I did post in 2022, 2021, 2020 time, like all those stuff when I when I posted all these things. If you're going, up oh, sorry. If you can go back to, um, you know, 2020 uh, time, I posted stuff, right? Just a second. Sorry about that. All right. So looking at the previous data and all, what I notice, folks, here, the market has solid bullishness look like. So, and. I notice in our group also that market is already way up there and it should be since December people are talking probably that a market could have a pullback right and this is pullback means it could could go and dump similar like that and I, I can't deny everybody can think about it because market is breaking the previous high 480 460 480 500 right we even 500 also market keep crushing top every week right it, this is what it is happening so in this case, you need to take a look at the previous history similar scenario. So in my case, folks, I'll give you an example. Like I have gone through this market 2000.com bubble. I have also seen, seen in 2008 where subprime financial crisis happened. I also seen 2008 where you know uh, brexit happened 2018 uh, happened then 2000 sorry 2020 the pandemic crash happened right so several crash i have gone through in my life but when i compare few things and when i compare now it's totally looking different folks yes it's totally different now yes so uh, what i think is is far better that you know one day we do a mass like 100 student cup 200 students everybody jumping in bandwagon and we can do a one excellent class which i can show you where because i did this i told all these thing in 2023 but now is a different ball game folks yes this is a golden opportunity market setting up yes people think josh you are bullish well you you got you got to come and, and uh, look at me in 2021 i'm uh, sorry 2022 2021 end and 2022 i was the one of the like bear bear big bear people think oh josh is bear bearish all the time people used to throw me out of the space twitter space i i had no no youtubes or nothing that time people when i go and talk somewhere People said you are bearish because everybody was pumping everything. Same thing now you think people as Josh is too much bullish, correct? Yeah. No. So folks, the point whatever I bring to you, the people who took my classes, macroeconomic class, financial fundamental class and technical fundamental class, based off of that, you can time the market. You cannot just time the market on financial fundamental, nor only looking at the technicals nor only macro you got a combination based off of plus you got to analyze way you know you need to do data analysis folks so i'm looking at many many things and i think it's far better that we do a mass because there are a lot of people they are afraid at the top there are a lot of people they think it could be a bubble balloon right 2021 right uh, you know 2020 2021 market was going up and up so we don't need to be part of those fear and FOMO, right? We need to be more confident. And I think it's very, very important. So I'm going to create a one class, folks, soon, probably this week. It's an emergency class, I would call it. Just do the emergency class and teach everybody the right thing. What my, I'm going to show you the proof because I don't want to, you know, 
you know, say something and, you know, go away. No, I'm going to spend time because two hours is a lot of time, but I'm going to prove, prove you what I see, right? So I'm going to show you. So one of the day probably we'll do it. So that way we would know where market is going, what could happen, what not happen, right? Because I'm going to go through financial fundamental. I'm going to go through macro and I'm going to go through the technicals and show you combination. That's how we are going to open the lock. And I think it's des desperately we need it because so many students, so many people don't want to take the classes. 90% people because they keep giving money to market maker. They keep doing day trading, keep doing swing trading, keep buying Tesla calls and these calls and that not what not. Right. But they will they need to have a proper track like right? there are four different tracks on the market and that's why I, I want to I want to more focus on that side also because if you don't take the education trading classes obviously you're going to give the money money to market maker uh, then at least you can have you know preserve what you have and go to the longer process long term also because that is the most important part right so i'll be creating that okay anyway i don't want to talk too much but i see here so folks we on a four hour chart 30 minute charts let's go and take a look at the four hour charts what do what do i see here what i see here is folks every week market creating diversion and pulling back so this was your major sloping support and we bounce then market creating a, another fast track and pulling back magnet fill up the gas going back every time we doing this every other week market doing so what does it mean that means market is in a form of mode folks yes every time so we i did mention about the bull plug and market took off so this is looking very very bullish so now what do you see this is a four hour chart folks look at this squeeze and then light under the tunnel manhattan tower building and then we went up right here volume right same thing again same thing cloud condition look at that bullishness so market is in a form of more folks now so this is a four hour chart okay this is four hour chart but if i'm hoping that i'm gonna go and short the market i'm not gonna do that if i see something i will say something remember the video i made about the bull flag and look at what happened after breakout correct so as long as i don't if i don't see that i'm not gonna say that if i whatever i will see that's what it i'm gonna explain you because i'm not one of them that hey market is already went up 20 percent 15 percent 10 percent is supposed to go down that's not who i am i don't care where i don't fight with the fed i don't you know what i mean <laughs> you don't need to fight with market let the market do whatever it courses whenever market is bearish we will i will the first one to find out all the cycles so right now i don't see anything like that folks okay so today i'm gonna go and analyze a lot more things folks so to help you out because everybody has their positions uh, if anything so i'll definitely help you out so today we're gonna look at into bitcoins um, uh, you know um, yeah, nvidia smci all right um few other stock tesla probably right few other stocks which are popping right so at this particular event folks market just magically cross and market looks like wants to go higher that's how it looks like all right so this is the condition of the current bullish bullishness if anything changes happens we will update you but this is the brand new week starting so we will see whatever it looks like but it looks to me a nice and bullish all right now let's take a look at the bitcoin is popping i guess right bitcoin is popping so this is crypto right here bitcoin so what happening here bitcoin is let's take a look at the daily chart folks all right so we did mention our target is bitcoin is seventy thousand dollar right there we are very very close to it and most likely we're gonna break this seventy thousand dollar so hold on a second folks yeah we might test break pull back and then go up something like that gonna happen but i think bitcoin looking excellent right now folks for more if you see this this is the former mode market is on bitcoin that's how it looks like so bitcoin looking great folks so for me you know this is awesome so Bit bitcoin gonna go quickly test this probably little pullback and then break something gonna happen but this bitcoin looking great all right now we're gonna take a look at it nvidia so what nvidia look like here so nvidia is folks it looking super duper bullish look at this pullback 
immediately bounce back and taking previous high so nvidia also look like wants to go higher right here yeah so nvidia we are topping up folks and if this could go my price target i told you right that nvidia is cheaper buying at here than buying at somewhere here at the bottom still so we are very close to the target was 900 dollar we are very very close to it now and long term is a different story but you know I, we don't need to get into the long term right now just focus here right now nvidia looking still bullish nvidia wants to go nvidia say i want to go hope you understand yep that's how things are look like right now here look at the condition man this is this is like if they want to go to 1500 that's how setup look like to me all right but this is not a one month two month process folks okay this is 2024 process this is my target was 2024 was thousand dollar nine hundred dollar we already did that but the way these things look like is, is solid bullish and if i apply the financial fundamental this could go to way higher also but again folks this is not a financial advice you have to do your homework folks okay um because cycle does market has a cycle right they take a pullback do happen and people lose money and then say hey josh you said so right you gotta understand cycles all right smci so smci is joining the um, smp 500 right and right now smci is almost 1050 we touched right and going higher and higher so now when it comes to any event and all those things folks i don't chase anything right i don't believe in fomo with nothing is running away there's always another opportunity there's always another flight to catch okay so in this case absolutely uh, you know the company is doing great look at that you know so still is the price is fair here around this market but I don't want to chase anything here at this particular point on this. But do you, do you think this? Yeah, this company was one of the, this was our hot list stock in 2022, 2023. And then look at that, what happened. All right. So now is, I don't like to chase anything here. So SMCI looking still bullish, folks. Okay. Then Tesla. All right. Tesla has a bear flag setup right here. MACD is still bullish. How far did we go? We didn't go anywhere. Tesla is has a supply. I already mentioned this about a month ago, folks. What did Tesla do? Tesla went down 15 step faster and five step upward. 15 step down, five step up, then again. So this is remember what I said about the bear, the Tesla got a weakness. On top of that, Elon Musk came out and mention about that he's he's showing the um, the ai guy right so in that case what would happen is he didn't get the fair share in the probably ai now he's trying to litigate right if you cannot uh, you know beat uh, in ai then he's trying to do in a different way but hey now you can fight in the same industry where you live right then you create more enemies and that's the reason you, you, <laughs> i don't know how you're gonna manage that but anyway so I, it doesn't look great here i know it's sloping support but we got a huge supply there right market just filled up the gap right here this was a gap we just about to fill with somewhere around 210 is the max right so this is your supply and i think market is waiting for earning to come so we will be spending time around here between 175 and 214. I said about this month ago that this is the picture perfect for iron condor. Remember option class applies. This is the picture perfect for iron condor when market was uh, the Tesla was at around 190. You can play the ping pong both the side and you can make a 50% profit. 50% profit in a one month, one and a half month. Still has a long way to go. So yeah, you can this is the picture perfect but a lot of berries and look at the conditions solid berries looking right look at the cloud conditions so watch out on the tesla side folks not looking great on that all right then uh, we're gonna take a look at the uh, ibm i like what i saw folks okay what i like about ibm is folks look at that ibm chart went down up now you apply the financial fundamental class look at that so they beat the EPS and they're looking great now. And MACD trying to curl in up, squeeze coming in. Look like, look at the cloud condition, look like IBM wants to go higher. 
this is what I can see IBM then uh, meta look at the meta condition solid bullish folks look at that look at the squeeze coming in meta remember somebody wanted to short at after earning and I said no I would not even think so I'm gonna I said it's gonna go to 500 it has 450 and look at that we already broke the 500 right look at that there is a reason folks whenever I mention something look at that what happened to and this is gonna go stock this is this stock wants to go this is under value it's super under value it's gonna go you will see fast moving yeah this stock wants to go all right so this is meta looking great on uh, our upcoming days then we can also look into um, meta Qualcomm folks Qualcomm looking great man yep so Qualcomm this is the cup and handle pat pattern we follow that this is the handle and shooting up so Qualcomm wants to go to look at that shoot out then AVGO they have uh, AVGO has earning this week folks this is this is look at that stock wants to fly high look at the condition here magd crossing light under tunnel volume coming in all of a sudden this is this this stock wants to go folks this stock look like parabolic move yep this wants to cross 1500 the way the setup look like he wants to go say i want to run now <laughs> running late <laughs> that's how it is yep so this is going wants to go this is also great looking um then any other earning coming in target all right folks so target looking great too look at that beautiful uh target is earning this week so that's why target looking good because of the walmart so this could also next target this area so target looking great dollar general i like i've been saying this it was 100 and here something 117 110 dollar look at that now dollar general heading two folks i would do i would i love these compared to target dollar general because this has a better balance it yeah yeah man this is this is this is great this one dollar general compared to target all right any other one uh, we can look into costco has earning so wow look at the costco folks this is amazing stock look at that setup wow this is nice and bullish okay this is great a lot of people because the dividend stock i mean i is overvalue also but i'm not gonna jump in in so be careful folks on earning you know they could beat but market maker can play good news could be good news could be bad news also but i could be very careful here folks but a lot of people portfolio right they have costco so i don't know how they're gonna manage but i will be not jumping in any on earnings yeah so that's about it uh what else um yeah q q q q q all right so q q q is looking great nasdaq looking great folks uh you know they look at the same thing here continuous squeeze coming in magdi trying to cross cloud conditions are bullish support sloping support is intact i mean what can i tell you about it here folks this is looks awesome you know the setup everything is great here um yeah if you look at the nasdaq like you know the tech sector folks right ndx right here so if you look at the ndx since pandemic time right here right nasdaq was bottom here around ten thousand, and since then took off look at that eighteen thousand. we reached that so mark nasdaq went up almost 70 percent folks from uh, 2023 right here bottom since then 70 percent went up right but this is nothing folks this is nothing yeah this is this is nothing is a very very undervalue yes yeah yeah anyway but uh, we'll talk more further on this one folks this is great uh, nasdaq looking awesome folks. this chart is excellent looking chart look at that parabolic move pullback and now wants to go so this nasdaq chart looking awesome folks you could cross 20 easily all right but give some time all right uh, now those who are joining the new first time here folks please join the community right here uh, is the top trading edge on youtube you can type it in and i go live every day seven hours a day right here seven hours join live stream free of charge on youtube and also i do education classes folks these are the classes i teach 
uh, teach technical fundamental financial fundamental options techniques macro right all these things so you can join the room you will know all right so folks uh, see you tomorrow morning 9 30 all right and don't forget to click the like button folks and share with others if you could appreciate folks see you tomorrow thanks